carnivores amongst you may be interested in this. The non-carnivores maybe put on a dark pair of sunglasses. Have a look at what we've got here on the table. Uh, I'm joined here by Bill Schindler. He's a professor of archaeology in Washington College. And he's currently in UCD uh, Experimental Archaeology Department. And uh, Bill, the reason we have a pig here, and the reason we're looking inside the pig is pretty specific. And it's because you think that the meat part of the animal is, is the least nutritious part. We should be eating more of the, the organs. Right, we should be eating the entire animal. And if we look back at our, the story of our dietary past, the diet that actually made us who we are over millions of years, it was a, it was a, a, a quest for nutrient-dense foods. Our ancestors sought out nutrient-dense foods whenever possible. So we'll have a look inside this pig. Uh, and obviously we know the bits that we commonly eat, the carnivores amongst us, but here are the organs. And, and when you talk about nutrients, what kind of nutrients are you talking about? So nutrients, I'm talking about things like fat and protein and minerals and, and, and vitamins. These are the things that, that we essentially need to survive and to thrive. And iron, I see that. So we're going to take out first the amazing, amazing heart. So this is the heart. This is this is a great organ, but essentially this is just another muscle. Muscle is, it has nutrients, more nutrient dense than vegetables or, or fruits, but nowhere near. So the other a bit ones. like the tongue, uh, so and then up here. Up here we have this is one of the best parts of the animal. This is the very brain. delicate. Yeah. Very very delicate. Uh, this is full of quality animal fats. These are things that, that we honestly again desperately need to, to survive and to thrive and to fuel our own brains. This we have the liver. Look at that color. And not only does this have amazing protein and fat, but it also has vitamins like vitamin C, believe it or not, and, and minerals such as zinc and iron. And we kind of know from previous generations. I mean, I know my granny would have always said, have some liver sure. at least once a month. You yeah. know, it's great for you. It's, it, it's full of kind of vitamins and, and nutrients that we need. Yeah, it, it makes sense on a dietary level, but also certainly for an ethical level, on an ethical level or sustainability level. I mean, to eat the entire animal just makes sense. So if you're good at killing animals. Make yeah. sure that you respect it enough to use Certainly. all of it rather than just some of it. And, and what else here do uh, you have? Uh, we could derive nutrition from just about every single part of this animal that we see. But just another example that we don't even think about that much, but you know, the small intestines and the large intestines and even the stomach, these are used still today, fortunately, for things like sausage casings. But uh, our ancestors and, uh, and some people still today even eat the, the stomach contents and the contents of the small intestines, very nutrient-dense foods. And you very kindly, Bill, have brought something for me to try over here. Yeah. So this is extraordinary looking. It hasn't got the best name, not the most appetizing name anyway. What do you call this? No, so this is head cheese. We've used literally every single part of the head to produce this. Uh, we've, we've taken out the gelatin, we've uh, used the meat with the fat, the skin, the eyes, the brains, all of it. Mm, I've tried. Mm, it's very tasty. Very, very tasty. Would anyone like to try a little bit? Look at you there. There you go. Try a bit of that. And over here, then, obviously, we've got something very interesting here, which is Wait. something that crackling, pork crackling that we know about. Sure. So the skin has tons of collagen. We'll as put well some protein. in. Put some in, and we're going we're to let this start as we try. Let me bring you around over here real quick and try one more thing as that's cooking. We have. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, who is the next? Have a go with that. What have we got here? So we have pate. This is a country pate that has liver, meat, and so ditch the vitamin pills if you're a carnivore and actually start eating other parts of the animal. Exactly. You can eat just about everything that you need. Yes. And um, so, so these, these are just about ready to start and to rise to the surface. So these are popping. This, this is the skin that's been boiled, scraped the fat and dehydrated, and now they're turning into cracklings. And, and you have this. Finish, this is the finished one here. So let's, we're going to, do you know what, Audio? We're just going to eat a bit, have a bit of a feast here and go back to you in the studio. And while you're waiting for that, we're going to try a bit of the, the skin yep. and uh, hand around a bit more of the head cheese. Back to you, Anya.